you are watching our new series on tactical enlightenment when things go badly created to show situations where my tactical plans either failed altogether or the enemy overcame them and we were forced to adapt to changing battlefield conditions hopefully this series inspires in you an even stronger desire to always fight on and persevere in the face of extreme challenges all right friends welcome back again to another episode of tactical enlightenment this YouTube channel is dedicated to helping you get better at Banner Lord through the use of advanced tactics and field command, and I'm in an unusual situation in this episode. A Sturgeon force was sieging an Asurai castle that used to be my castle, and I'm tempted to help them only because the Asurai are starting to overrun the map. They've started taking Batanian territory, they've really outgrown their shoes um, and it's time to put them in their place they're becoming a major problem in my campaign now the sturgeons I love to hate uh, we've been at war alternatingly they've been sort of neutral and at peace but in this situation uh, I definitely am going to try to help them defend this uh, it's actually they're actually assaulting the keep so they're being attacked by Asurai forces uh, but I'm going to try to interfere here in, in favor of, of the non Asurai force and this is why I eventually I want to retake this castle because of these units here. This is one of the best units in the game, Batanian Fians. Uh, you know, they anchor my army. Any given time, I probably have uh, maybe a seventh or an eighth of the army is Batanian Fian champs, right? In this case, we've got these recruits that eventually promote all the way up to Batanian Fians. And they only come out of a couple of castles, and this used to be one of them that we were getting them from. So we are going to come in here and help. Uh, with the idea that hopefully eventually the Sturgeons lose the castle to somebody else and then we can sweep in and take it. Um, we're seriously outnumbered here. In fact, against this many troops, I'm going to reduce the player damage a little bit. Uh, and we have to deal with this dipshit Sturgeon force. Who knows what they're going to do? Uh, so here we go. Hear me! What is it? I don't even get to fucking set up my units, I guess. They're just dumping us into battle. <laughs> Look at this shit. They're just dumping us into battle. I don't even know what the fuck that's this is not not so terrific tail worlds we should have some opportunity to pick what the fuck we're doing here all right so the sturgeons of course anytime you fight with an ally they tend to do dipshit things they are just charging headlong into a huge force of Asurai. I mean they have no chance of, of assaulting that force like that. Uh, we're gonna take a more pragmatic approach. We're gonna set up here on this ridge, try to gain an elevation, try to gain a tactical advantage instead of just charging headlong F1, F3. Maybe they took up the actual joke of F1, F3 is the right strategy because that appears to be what they're doing. Uh, and as usual, you know, that's, that's the worst part. Not only are we outnumbered two to one, but we're fighting with an absolutely dipshit ally here who knows what they're gonna do and look at this Asurai force it's just stacked with palace guards so I'm just now starting to figure out what units I have it doesn't it didn't really even tell me what units I have and, and how many so I've got a shield wall of cab here while I try to get archers with some elevation here on this battlefield the area towards the right seems to have more elevation look at this the sturgeons are just charging headlong in here they have well it's a death wish it's pure imbecility, right? This is not AI. This is artificial imbecility. Look at the forces they're charging. Pal every single troop in here is a palace guard. A palace guard. So we're gonna sh we're gonna use Cav here. We're gonna we're gonna uh, use these as screens so we can move our units up higher elevation here. On this map, uh, I'm quite familiar with this map, having fought here a lot. Uh, there's some nice elevation spots uh, where we can shoot down on our enemy, try to gain a tactical advantage. All that death spam is probably the Sturgeons. It makes me nervous. It makes me feel like the battle is going really badly. Of course, in a battle like this, you can't actually tell if it's Sturgeon deaths or your own deaths. Uh, I, I presume it was theirs. They just charged right into the lion's den. You heard screaming and body parts ripped off, and the next thing you know, there was no more noise. There's, all the Sturgeons are dead. So, only the same people are left in this battle. I've got shield walls. I've got the second and third cap both screening our units as we make for higher ground here. If the enemy wants to stay in that valley and not contest this higher ground, we've got these 40 or 50 Batanian Fian champs in our army. We're going to try to we're going to try to duplicate them, make more by taking this this castle eventually. 
my skirmishers here are laying waste to anything that comes around the edges of these shield wall. I've got the seventh. Uh, seventh is a horse bow or horse archer unit. The eighth is normally the eighth is my elite units, but I don't I don't see that many. I've got five guys there for some reason. I've got skirmishers in the sixth, and the first is infantry, just to kind of round out. Hey, these archers are totally vulnerable. <laughs> Let's rip off some more arms here. These guys are just just waiting to be trampled. I don't know quite what they're doing here. They're trying to spread out right in front of our cavalry, but we're just gonna drive these through here like a furious fucking freight train and kill as many of these fucks as we can. Uh, in my campaign, the Asurai is always the hardest hardest kingdom for me to fight. I don't know why that is. Uh, they do have some very high, high level lords. Uh, they've got a couple lords that you can't actually see their level, but they've got a lot of skills in the 250 and 300 range. Got to deal with these horse archers here. Let's screen them with the seventh cap. Can't have them just obliterating us from the side here. It fucks up our plan. I might even send a whole cavalry division eventually to attack them. Let's get the third on them, in fact. This screen has done a wonderful job of preventing the enemy from just bum rushing our archers while they set up. But now I want these horse archers fucking tied up. They're trampling my archers right now, just running through, creating dust, motherfuckers. All right, so we're going to try to move our archers further up this hill. We're going to do a little kiting, right? If you're not familiar with this process, this is effectively just a controlled retreat. I want to I want to pull my units up to the side of this elevated area here because it's a much better shooting vantage, right? I can shoot downhill. The, hopefully, I can get the, the, the back of these rocks, uh, you know, the wall uh, at, to our backs. And now I'm going to try to prevent this infantry here from this aggressive charge. They're, like, full-on charging us here. So I'm dragging a cav unit. It's sort of sacrificial. Uh, a lot of those guys are going to die. I see red death spam. But we're doing that so that we can get our guys positioned here. It's, it's definitely worth the cost. Get these guys a little bit higher up here, and they're just going to be able to rain death down into the this Asurai force. I like to use cav squares in situations like this because it works uh, very well as a distractionary tactic. Of course, cav squares is where your units put shield and back-to-back. -back and they form into like a turtle formation. Uh, and it's excellent for defense. And then what will happen a lot of times is the enemy will attack it, uh, and you can just lay waste to them with other units. You can attack them with infantry cav and shoot them full of holes with archers. So you'll hear me, you'll hear my, my commander, Zuvan, yelling, form a square. Uh, that's, that's exactly what's happening there. So now I've got a cav core over here, setting up a defensive wind over here. I'm waiting for their infantry to charge. I expected them to be over here on our left charging, but it doesn't appear like they're coming over. Wherever they come, though, we're ready. I've got the first and sixth following me. You can see all these nasty infantrymen. There's some high-level companions here just waiting for the enemy infantry. I guess I should just follow the arrows. My archers are hammering them with arrows. So they're, they're sort of filtering in over on this side here. Well, if they... Shit, I just killed one of my guys. If they come over this, this ridge here, we're going to obliterate them. We've got just fucking javelins flying. We're ripping apart. They're getting shot to pieces. It looks like they're they're a little they're having a little consternation about their idea to charge this this situation here. We're gonna flank them. Fuck you guys. Let's bring Cav over here. We're gonna try to envelop this infantry. They're sufficiently weakened now that I think we can make an attempt to, to charge here. I'm dragging the first and sixth and moving two cav divisions over. We're gonna lead with the cavalry. And now the rest of our units charge. First, sixth, eighth. And fifth, in we go. Let's see if we can't obliterate this cap force. Or infantry force. Shook them up with our cab. I need to get my cab unit back to us here. I gotta have that cab support in the midst of it. Now there's a lot of fucking Az Asurai infantry here. I'm wearing my light armor loadout, so I'm moving like a fucking ballerina. What is it? What did Muhammad Ali say? Fucking something about a butterfly sting like a bee, something like that. That's what we're doing today. We've got we've got a pretty fast axe. This is a custom axe. I apologize. I don't know how to build it. Uh, my first my first companion or my first character actually in this campaign uh, was a smith. Sorry if my narration is not terrific right now. I, I do the best I can. I'm trying to narrate and then also watch the battlefield and give orders to eight different units. It's not easy. For some reason, they have peasants in their army. There's no way that they're down to peasants already. I mean, we have put a beating on them so far, but there's just no way that they're down to peasants. Okay, they've got reinforcements popping up in the valley. 
we're gonna get reinforcements. Oh shit. I had forgotten about this part of reinforcements. I'm still getting used to the reinforcement system. The Tail Worlds keeps changing it. My fucking reinforcements are way on the other side of the fucking map. Let me give you an overview here. You see the enemy pouring through the valley? It's effectively cut us off between where our reinforcements are and where we are. I think it actually makes sense to pull way back here. You see way over there I've got, it looks like an infantry division and an archer division. So it's 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 mixed reinforcements of infantry and archers and the enemy is firmly in between us. Now if, if we were even numbers against the enemy we would actually just fight on with this but outnumbered this badly, well, Actually, these guys are already in place. These are archers. We might roll with this for a bit. We'll see how this goes. A lot of times I try to pull back to a to a safer spot, uh, but those those earlier units I put on the on the high wall there, the fourth and fifth, they've got some cavs still supporting them. They're still shooting. A lot of those guys are going to be out of ammunition soon, so that's going to be problematic. I still see them with their bows out. Uh, but we have enough forces on the other side here that I think we're going to basically try to fight and divide it. Now, Julius Caesar, right, and other, other, uh, other military leaders would say, very bad decision. They'd say, you know, divided you fall. Um, and it, it may be that this is a bad strategy. But these units are already in place. I've got a nice strong cav or infantry line here. And then I have a bunch of archers. And, of course, you can... Oh, shit, those are enemy troops. You can... You can see I'm sort of making a tangent out of my troops. I'm kind of I'm kind of moving them together indirectly here, sort of at an angle. All right, so the infantry's charging over here. Let's get these archers spread out in a nice line. There's a nice ridge here. We'll be able to shoot the enemy as they come over. That's going to pay dividends. I think one of the problems I'm dealing with is one of our reinforcements. Uh, it gave us like, you know, I think it's the fourth division. There's like 90 guys or something like that. But it's yeah it is that that's those guys are in two different places so I I can't really give them separate orders it's, it's not a, a terrific system but we're gonna try to do the best we can with it it was my mistake for for getting so far from the, the reinforcement oh shit there's infantry pouring in here already it was my mistake for getting so far away from the reinforcement spot All right, let's attack these guys aggressively here Got my fucking fast axe out. We'll just make fucking quick work of, of light infantry. Get off. I see a lot of guys using these big, long, heavy axes. And boy, once you find a, a shorter, fast axe, uh, I can tell you, holy shit, they've got a bunch of archers already on the line there. This is, I mean, we're, we're jousting pretty well here. These guys might even have to charge. Fuck. Let's bring them up in shield wall. I've got infantry bearing down on them. We're going to switch tactics here with our with our infant, or with our archer division. We're going to use them on the flank here at shield wall and try to envelop this archer force. They're pressed up against the ridge here, so we should be able to push in quickly. Get shot in the face a few times. Fuck. Cut a few arms off here. I mean, especially against light infantry troops. With this really fast axe swing speed, you're just like a, a fucking hurricane of death. Now, it doesn't do as much damage, it doesn't have as much reach, but man, I've fallen in love with it. Alright, we are at least trading blows. Now the screen is all green. <laughs> I mean, those guys are roaring, they're fucking foaming at the mouth. There's Batanian Fian champs in there that are out of ammunition that just charged, right? So they've got like one last little death spurt in them before they get taken down. But they're definitely taking out some guys on the way out. Oh, fuck. And then we just annihilated their archer wing. They got some kills initially there, but once we closed, it was fucking curtains. Alright, so I learned my lesson from the first time. We're going to pull our forces back here to where reinforcements are likely to come in. I've got infantry that's charging. They're basic, basically on a death run there. They're going to charge the enemy until they're all dead. And I'm going to pull these crossbow and archers back in advance of the enemy coming out. It's about 60, 70 guys. A lot of those guys still have ammunition. I don't want them getting obliterated by enemy archers, enemy cav. Look at how many cavalry they have. 
So we're going to pull them back to a safer spot here, help them retreat, and hopefully if and when reinforcements come, I mean, it's going to come. These guys are going to – actually, these guys are doing pretty well. These guys are, are still shooting. We over oh, – I see they're getting obliterated on that side. Let's retreat some of these guys too. I think I can pull some of this unit out too. This is, so I have the fourth and fifth in retreat. Not retreat. That's not the right word for it. We're reforming. It's a, you know, it's a controlled retreat, and we're going to try to pull them to where reinforcements are likely to come in. All these guys right here, and the screen is all red. Fuck. I'd be almost dead right now on normal player, player damage. I've gotten support from some subscribers, from some commenters about playing with, with uh, different levels of, of playing damage player damage right of course our units are on the normal damage we're not we're not getting like oh, shit. we're not getting huge advantages here on the enemy here but uh, a lot of people they come to the, to our channel to see tactics to see big battles uh, and I can't show it to them all the time of course if I'm dropped and, and laying in the dirt right the AI takes over it does dipshittery things just like the Sturgeons right just an all-out charge into a force that outnumbers it four or five to one uh, and you learn absolutely nothing. Well, you learn that Tail Worlds is designed a, a brutally bad uh, AI. I mean, what's really odd is when I have an ally, they seem to fight much worse than the enemy does. Like, when I fight the enemy, sometimes they do pretty good stuff here. Their horse archers are, are like, circling. They'll, they'll flank. Their infantry charges in combination sometimes with their cab. They do good things sometimes. Fucking assholes are, like, tied up in here. Beat my fast axe, boys. Look, it's just a laser beam of death. Get fucking caught up on the rocks here. Uh, and so for this battle, we are playing with reduced player damage. Anybody wondering why I'm still alive, why I'm taking so little damage? I've got very good armor. It's not my best armor, uh, but I have, uh, you know, I've got 300 something endurance. So I have a lot of hit points. And then, of course, I'm playing with reduced, redu reduced damage just because it's such a huge battle, right? This is almost 4,000 enemy troops. All right, so I've got two different archer divisions here. I've got a cav division I can use to screen. I definitely like this setup better because now the enemy has to come to us. We have reinforcements popping out kind of right in front of us here. I'm going to send up this unit. This unit's probably out of ammunition. We're going to have them bum rush and charge these enemy archers that are right here. Sometimes you're better off charging with archers. Uh, the other way you can get everybody involved, too, is tell them to hold fire. Tell everybody to charge. If you tell archers to charge and they have ammo left, unfortunately, a lot of them will just... Hold on. There's that thought in a second. You'll get fucking overwhelmed. A lot of times, if you tell archers to charge and they ha still have ammunition, they'll stand back and shoot. If you want the full effect of everybody charging, tell them to hold fire and charge. And then they'll all come roaring up. They'll put away their bow. These guys are highly obedient. Oh, don't punch people. Doesn't, it's not very effective. Uh, and sometimes you're better off charging with your archers. Sometimes if it's a, flak, a flanking attack, sometimes if you're doing it because you're trying to get combined attacks on the enemy, sometimes your archers don't have a line of sight. These fucking guys just shot to pieces and killed right here. All right, let's get archers up here. These guys just came in. They should have ammo. We can give them a nice... A nice vantage point to shoot down in this valley. It's getting messy. The enemy has a huge press of infantry coming up. A lot of written. <laughs> that guy got obliterated. Not quite certain what happened. Neither is she. Her head just all of a sudden was detached. Fuck. Get a little overzealous. Of course, if I get killed playing with half player damage, then it's my fault. guys aren't shooting, they must be out of ammo, so you tell them to charge. Fuck it. This battle was looking good, now it's looking bad. Back and forth we go. It's a seesaw battle here. I've got these guys in a square here. I've got units charging them from the flank. I've got guys shooting still. Some of these guys still have ammo. I, mean, I thought they just came in for reinforcements. We're obliterating them on our square here. You see how effective the square is. All of their units are just magnetized to it. Uh, and our units can sort of attack their units that are magnetized to it. It's gotten chaotic. They have cav all over the fucking place. I honestly, I couldn't tell you who wins a battle, <laughs> who's winning this battle. Uh, this is one of those situations where I like to remind 
people maybe you're watching for the first time or haven't seen many of our videos, I typically don't do a status check. Holy shit, we just lost a huge amount of troops. I don't know what happened. Maybe they got a machine gun or something on their side. Let's get a horse here and try to figure out what the fuck is going on here. I mean, I know they got cav running around, but it seems like we just lost 30 or 40 guys. They, they must have a, a bunch of troops obliterating our troops somewhere. While I try to figure out what's happening, I see what's going on. They've got a bunch of forces over here just ravaging our reinforcements. The game keeps putting my reinforcements in the worst possible spot. We're going to try to hide now over this ridge with our, our shattered forces here. I mean, a lot of those reinforcements just died as soon as they came on the map. They just dropped them right in the lap of the enemy. I see Sturgeon forces over there, so the Sturgeon idiots are getting more reinforcement waves. I'm sure they're going to do some brilliant shit. But at least it's it's troops fighting the enemy, right? All these guys in blue, these guys are on our side. It's definitely going to give us a hand here against uh, this just cavalry. It's a fucking cavalry onslaught here. How do they have so many cavalry? I've been killing cavalry for like 15 minutes, too. Aye! All right, I got archers set up on this wall here. I've got a very thin line of infantry. We've got a small line of, of cav I can use as a screen because I've got to get these guys free to shoot. Archers that can't shoot, of course, are fucked. Sturgeons are running around helping out, I guess, a little bit. All right, where was I? I was, yeah, so I wanted to say I don't show the status bar of how the fight is going. I mean, you can get a little idea from the, the little power meter up there, like the length of the yellow or blue. Every time I look up there, it's a little different. Uh, but that doesn't really account well for, for reinforcements. So you, you never know. Well, usually you know. We, we win most of the time. But you never know when you're watching a battle here on our channel whether or not we're going to win. And, and obviously neither do I when I'm playing. This battle is very tenuous right now. Uh, the enemy seems fucking relentless. They seem to have 20,000 cavalry here. Uh, and they keep putting my reinforcements in dismal spots. Between that and the, the fuck up I made at the beginning, where I, I separated my forces too far, uh, you know, we may lose this, this battle. We probably should lose out number two to one, and then we've got a fucking dipshit for an ally. Uh, I'm going to use this infantry in a square. We're going to use them as distractionary forces. I've got enough archers here just to hammer away at anything attacking that square. I think they're so interrupted, though, by enemy calf. Let's get one of these guys flanked out on the side here. If we can get these guys stretched out. God damn it. Any of the enemies attacking them on the side here, these guys will all be able to shoot. Now, I see the enemy has archers in there. Get some... If I can get my heavy cab like right in their face. These guys all have shields. There's shield and there's behind him is like Batanian Fiend Champs. Let's bum rush these motherfuckers. Time to kill everything that's that's moving here. Whoops, even the horses die. feel like a fucking axe murderer when you have a fast axe and 300 athletics. Uh, more forces are pouring over the ridge here. I've got this infantry square. I can continue to move up as a distractionary force. Hey, there's one of my companions still alive. That's I think that's Gweth. If you haven't noticed, I put I usually use different helms, even at the expense of their armor, so that I can identify who they are and what they're good at. I'll, I'll put them in certain spots on the, on the battlefield. I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but if I had to be honest right now, it feels like we're going to lose this battle. The screen is heavily red. The power bar indicates the enemy's ahead, and we've made some mistakes here. This is It's looking like a bitch of a fight. We need to make a few more tactical wins here to have a chance. I've got these guys in a square. The cab line's in a shield wall there, preventing the enemy from pouring over that ridge. More enemy reinforcements coming. Let's get archers stretched out here on the left flank. I've got about 90 archers. I don't have very many infantry left. I don't know if this is all I have. It doesn't feel like very many troops though. Holy fuck, it just seemed like the enemy came out of the ground. They look like fucking mushrooms there. I was like 500 guys that just poured out of the fucking ground. 
I don't know if that was just my imagination or a graphical blow bug or what. All of a sudden, though, it's an avalanche or Acerol. fucking getting bad. They just steamrolled our infantry divisions here. They're about to steamroll our archers. All right, we've got to get these guys back. I don't know if I'm getting more reinforcements. This, this might be it. I, I might be down to my last 150, 200 guys. And that's one of the benefits, uh, at least for for the suspense side of things, is you just never know. I don't know if I've got 500 more troops or 50. So we're going to try to pull these guys back over a safe ridge here, try to make a final stand here. Archers, of course, on the other side of a ridge can really light up the enemy that's that's charging after them. They'll be able to shoot them with arrows before they get to them. Of course, they have to expose themselves. But it's not very many. This is 70, 90. I, I have like 120 troops on the field. And I've got infantry that's totally separated from the rest of our troops. Got to knock some of these. You know what? we got to charge these guys. Charge and hold fire here because we, these guys are right on us. We've got no choice but to charge these guys and try to destroy these infantry that are attacking our archers. The Jarl is doing extra duty today. We're commanding and killing. Fuck, they just are pouring in on us. Horses are getting rocked. <laughs> they're paying me no attention at all. I'm killing like their whole army. <laughs> they're just not even paying me any attention. It's unreal. Well, fortunately the AI does dipshittery things for both your allies sometimes and for itself. These are lower level troops. That's a good sign. We still have medium to high level troops. I get reinforcements coming up in the most bizarre spot. It's like they're sprouting out of the ground like mushrooms. So at least for the moment, shit, we gotta dodge. Shot in the face. Fucking assholes. Okay, I've gotta get my units sort of back together again. Again, they keep putting my reinforcements all over the place, so it's like I'm juggling all these forces, trying to get a position right. It'd be a shame if we lose this battle with like 10 guys uh, left on the enemy force, because I think Oh, look at these guys are just being overrun here. The, the AI definitely hasn't done us any favors. From the Sturgeons just suicide charging at the beginning to them putting my reinforcements. It's like whack-a-mole. They just put them where... Look at it. There's fucking reinforcements on the other side of the valley here. I've got to pull my archers around the corner here just to support our own troops. These are pretty high-level troops, though. You know what? Let's just fucking open fire here. The enemy's charging us with weak forces. I think this battle's over. These are fucking militia, reserve units, recruits. Just in case, we're gonna get a flank enfilade fire here with one of our archer corps. Uh, this battle's over. There's like fucking 30 Batanian wildlings charging right there. They've got archers up on the hill, but that's only 45. Look at this guy. He's trying to hit me with his blacksmith hammer. Oh, shit. <laughs> I missed twice. I don't know how I can rampage through 15 troops earlier and I can't kill one blacksmith. All right, and we go here. I think this battle is over. They're down to low-level troops. The screen is all green. <laughs> that looter got sh shot, sh <laughs> shot by like 57 arrows. Oh, man. And it's a relief when you win these battles where there's mistakes made and there's still some fucks here. Oh, fuck you guys. I'm trying to kill some guys at the end. You know, that, that battle definitely felt like I was going to lose at multiple points. Um, but a combination of, of some axe work there, right? Some... My forearms are a little bigger after that episode. And uh, some tactics there. We were able to overcome 
overcome the various different deficits. Sometimes it's not always the cleanest battle here. Uh, we're doing our best on, on this channel to, to illustrate tactics uh, because a lot of people kind of think that Banner Lord, that tactics aren't necessary. Uh, well, they certainly aren't necessary if you like outnumber the enemy three to one, but if you're fighting an, an enemy and you're outnumbered like this two to one, uh, you've got a dipshit suicidal ally with you. Three. We only had 300 troops left, so we didn't win this by a large margin. Look at all the death. There's just fucking dead people everywhere. Uh, anyway, so tactics are, are very beneficial uh, in this game. I think if you frequent some of our videos, you'll see how, how valuable they are. Uh, either way, I hope you enjoyed this battle. If you're interested in seeing more, please subscribe. Uh, leave comments if you're interested. And I will talk to you friends next time.